Let's move on to Lowe's and Lowe's third quarter, not nearly as good as Home Depot's last week, and uh, expectedly uh, shares of Lowe's falling today. Um, you know, part of the confidence that I think investors might want to have in Target is the fact that, despite the higher costs in the third quarter, Target um, didn't change their guidance for the full fiscal year. That is not the case with Lowe's, because in addition to their third quarter numbers, they also um, cut their forecast. Yeah, well, they are, uh, as we just went over, part of the equation here in traditionally would be that you have good comp numbers and that allows you to open more stores. Well, Lowe's is now in the process of closing stores and uh, they are saying that uh, I, th I think 31 um, stores in, in Canada, um, 20. Um, in in uh, the U.S., uh, you know they they are contracting uh, in terms of their store count. So where is the growth going to come from there? I'm not saying that that is the wrong business decision. If you have over supplied in terms of stores and you've got too many too close together, I think most of the stores that they've announced that are going to be eliminated are within 10 miles of of another store. So they're going to be more efficient. That'll help the comp numbers in the remaining stores once it's completed. But you've got to take a big charge to earnings to close those stores, and that's what's befalling Lowe's stock today. Well, and you throw in the fact that previously Lowe's had announced that it was closing all of its orchard supply hardware stores, which was a smaller brand in the Lowe's portfolio. So. This can all make a lot of sense, and these can all be the right decisions. But I think if you're looking at Lowe's in 2019, 2019 is shaping up as a year for Marvin Ellison and his team at Lowe's, where they really need to deliver. Because if 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 this year has been well, we need to take a hard look at how we manage our inventory. We need to take a hard look at our locations, and yes, we're going to close Orchard Supply, and yes, we're going to methodically close certain locations in North America. That's fine, but they really need to deliver next year. Yeah, and you can be more confident in that delivery occurring if the housing market is really healthy and the housing market is beginning to show signs in the wake of interest rates moving up and mortgage rates also moving up of a softening in the housing market. It's all these markets are really local and some are doing better than others, but nationally, there's been slowdown. I think the numbers out yesterday showed that the home builder confidence was at a low, two year low. And so that's an issue. Margins are also an issue. The cost of lumber has been going up in large part due to some of the tariffs and the lumber coming in from Canada. So there are a lot of different moving pieces, sort of all of which are moving in the wrong direction for Lowe's, other than the economy in general, which is still quite healthy. And that's that's more use than maybe just about anything, but the housing economy specifically is a problem. So if the housing is really if housing is really that bad and housing I don't want to say housing is bad it's softening okay. which is different I don't want to oversell the problems in the housing market no no I I appreciate that but we've talked for years about how for people who are have not invested in housing that one of the best easiest entry points for an investor looking at individual stocks is Home Depot and Lowe's because. Over time, they've been steady businesses. At various points, one has done better than the other, but generally, they have been seen as safer investments than a straight-up home builder or you know that sort of thing. And if now, sorry to keep going back to last week, but like if if Home Depot is going to put up a third quarter like they just did, and the stock is going to drop because there are all of these concerns about the housing industry. Then that makes me wonder if there's anything related to the housing market in terms of stocks that's worth buying right now. Well, I think uh, Home Depot is is still uh, at disclosure. I own some shares of Home Depot. Uh, probably the place I would be most confident in 
uh, a, a sustainable floor. That is, housing builders, uh, home builders, boy, you get some wild, wild swings there. When times are good, they skyrocket. And when times are bad, they look like they're going bankrupt. And the Home Depot is a far more, yeah, you know, lower, lower ceiling, higher floor on that, and it's been doing a better job than Lowe's for quite some time. So, uh, I think that uh, although there there was, as you say, weakness uh, post-earnings report, I'd rather have a good earnings report and stock weakness and vice versa.